Hello, Vitek Taman here. It's time for another video tutorial. Today I will look at various ways to reduce distortion in your photos inside Photoshop CC. Although I'm using the newest Photoshop, you can replicate most of the techniques in the older versions as well. Okay, I have some photos opened already, and what I will be talking about is distortion. You see this line is vertical, but this one is not. Take a look at another image. This one is horizontal, but this and this are not vertical, but they are supposed to be. It's even worse in this image. These lines should be vertical, but they are not. And finally, it's similar in this image. These lines and this line aren't vertical. Okay? Despite the image is correctly leveled. So, distortion is about lines not being straight or uh, not going vertically or horizontally when they are supposed to. Uh, to limit this, you should avoid using, using ultra wide angle lenses or fisheye lenses. But for landscape photographers, it's very difficult not to do that. Also, you should shoot your photos straight, not up, not down, because it will increase uh, artifacts as well but it's also very limiting. You could also buy tilt shift lens, but unfortunately they are very expensive. So with all these limitations, the best thing we can do sometimes is to get rid of <coughs> distortion inside Photoshop. And there are multiple ways to do this, and I will show you uh, some of them. Okay, I will start with the very basic one, uh, which is about transforming your photo. Go to Edit. You will notice that Transform, which we would like to use, is grayed out. It's because our background layer is locked. Double click on the layer, give it some name. Okay, layer zero can be. Okay, accept. Now, Transform option isn't grayed out anymore. We will use Perspective. Okay, let's zoom out a bit and let's start to drag corners holding your control key down. Okay, let's see, it fixes the problem. And drag this one. Notice that uh, when I drag one uh, corner of the image, another one is automatically moved. Okay. Uh, when you're done, press Enter key on your keyboard. Okay, it's much better. Let's compare it to the before. It was like this, and it's after. The only problem is that now the charge seems to be a bit smaller. So what we will do will do is to increase its size in vertical dimension, just a bit. Okay, and now the proportions are much better. So we're done with this image. The, this this was the very easy way. Let's move to another one. Now I will use a feature that was introduced into Photoshop CC and Lightroom 5, which is upright. Go to filter, camera raw filter. Now go to the uh, lens correction tab, make sure manual is checked, and now click on the A symbol in the upright section. You can try various other settings like level, vertical, and full, but in our case, auto looks pretty well, I think. Okay, the only problem is that now there are some white areas uh, in the corners, in the bottom corners of the image. What we have to do is to crop them. We can't do anything else. Well, we could clone or fill, try to fill them somehow, but it would take too much time, so let's crop the image. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so it's finished, I think. It's before and it's after. Now the lines are correct. The only problem is that, as you could see, we lost some parts of the image here and here. Unfortunately, when fixing distortion in Photoshop, it's something that you won't avoid sometimes. Uh, you have, if you want to fix distortion, you have to be aware of that. Okay? So it was upright uh, tool. Let's move to another image. In this image, I will use perspective crop tool, which was introduced in Photoshop CS6. Uh, perspective crop tool is similar to crop tool, well, it's, it's a crop tool basically, but no, it only it not only doesn't does crop your image, but it also tries to fix perspective uh, issues. It's available in the crop tool, just below it, it's perspective crop tool. Let's select it for now. Now, let's drag uh, our crop rectangle over the image, normally. Now, what you see is a grid. What you have to do is to match vertical lines in the grid to the vertical lines in the image. So we will try to match this line here and this line here. You do this by dragging uh, the corners simply. You can press Shift key to avoid moving, uh, moving the corners vertically. They will move in, in the line horizontally. Okay. It's okay for this line. And let's move another corner. As you can see, moving one corner affects the grid, whole grid. So. Once you move to uh, one corner, you have to uh, fix the other one. So you, you need to make a few adjustments before you're done. I think it looks okay. Maybe a bit more to the left. Okay. Let's press enter when you're done. Okay. Similarly to the first image, when we had to resize our image vertically, we have to do the same here because now the building appears to be much lower than, than it was. The proportions are somewhat lost. So let's go to image, size, and let's increase the size to, let's say, okay, it's much better now. Let's compare uh, before and after. Oops, it's like it looked before. And it's like it looks after. Much, much better. Now, onto the final image. In this image, I will show you yet another tool, which is Filter Adaptive Wide Angle fil uh, Filter. Well, this tool is quite complex, and I use it only when other method, uh, methods fail. Well, nowadays, most commonly, I use uh, Upright tool but sometimes it fails uh, because it's an automatic tool, you, you can't really influence its behavior so sometimes it fails, it can't de detect uh, the lines properly so adaptive right angle lens uh, will help you, you with that let's click on this okay. now another window is opened and what you have to do is to tell Photoshop which lines should be straight which lines should be vertical and which lines should be horizontal. Basically, this by dragging, uh, by drawing lines like this, okay? To tell uh, Photoshop that lines should be vertical, press uh, and hold down the Shift key while drawing the vertical line. It will appear as pink one, okay? When drawing horizontal lines, press Shift key and hold it to tell that the line should be vertical and it will appear as yellow. Okay. Blue lines means that the lines should be straight but uh, it doesn't tell whether it should be horizontal or vertical. It's just that the lines should be straight. 
Okay, so let's fix some lines. This line here should be vertical, it's not definitely, so let's hold down the shift key and draw vertically, more or less. Okay. This line here should be horizontal, so hold down the shift key and draw another line. This line here should be also vertical, so we are drawing another line. This line here should be horizontal, it's definitely not. This line here should be also horizontal. Okay. You can continue drawing the lines as long as you wish in theory, but the more lines you add, the more complex uh, the processing it becomes, and sometimes Photoshop fails, and some lines aren't straight anymore. So you have to find a compromise uh, between straight lines and good, re uh, good number of lines. You know, you will you won't get perfect results in some extreme cases. You can also, uh, apart from drawing single lines, you can draw a polygon. It's useful to to draw around areas like doors, which should consist of uh, straight lines, basically. Okay, we could do the same here for this uh, window, but I wanted to show you uh, how the lines work. Okay, let's draw one more line here, maybe. Here, okay. I will maybe draw the another line here and here. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm quite satisfied with the result. Uh, maybe apart from this region, which is still have some issues. Oh, maybe I will draw another line here because this window has some problems. Okay. Uh, I'm satisfied, so let's uh, click on the OK button. OK, and the image is now finished. Uh, we have to crop it. Uh, let's change to regular crop to crop the uh, top part. Oops. Uh, crop the top part, OK. A bit on the left. And crop out this triangle on the right, because it looks ugly. Okay, and uh, now let's compare before and after. It's before and it's after. Quite a difference. Before, after. Okay, so summing up. You have a lot of tools in Photoshop to fix distortions. First of all, there is a transform tool, there is an upright tool from available from camera raw filter, it's also available in Lightroom. You have perspective crop tool, which is available just below regular crop tool, and you also have filter adaptive white angle. Many ways to fix distortion. So Thank you for watching and until next time.